Hi guys, Fog of Gaming here, and welcome to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Today, we're going to compare the AKM with the M416. I will show you the statistics, the weapon customization options, the bullet pattern, and I will show you how many bullets it takes to kill. Everything depends on what you find in Battlegrounds, so in the beginning, you will have to take your chances with whatever gun you can find. At some point, you might get the opportunity to swap an AKM for an M416 or vice versa. It doesn't matter if that opportunity presented itself because you just stumbled upon it or because you ripped it out of the cold dead hands of your enemy. We've all asked ourselves the following question. Is this swap worth it or not? And that is the question that I will try to answer for you today. The AKM is a 7.62mm assault rifle designed by Mikhail Kalashnikov, hence the name Kalashnikov Modernized Automatic Rifle. It's a modernized variant of the AK-47 and it was introduced into service with the Soviet Army in 1959. At PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, the AKM is for comrades in arms. The developers from Battlegrounds haven't released any official statistics yet. The only thing that they gave us are these weapon templates. I will put these on a scale from 0 to 100 and that way we can compare the AKM with the M416. The AKM is a high damage per bullet assault rifle, that is why it has a power rating of 42 and this is where this rifle truly excels. It has the highest power rating of all assault rifles in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. The effective range is 60 and the stability of the AKM is rated at 34, which is great, because here it also excels with the best stability rating of all assault rifles. The firing rate is 61 and unfortunately this is the biggest weakness of the AKM because all other assault rifles have better statistics for firing rate. The AKM uses the 7.62mm cartridge. This type of ammunition is also compatible with the Carabiner 98 Kurtz, the M24 sniper rifle, the SKS and the R1895 handgun. Basically you will be sharing these rounds if you're carrying any of the other weapons. The AKM has a 30 round magazine and like all primary weapons in Battlegrounds it has a standard capacity of 500. The AKM is capable of selective fire, firing either single shots or automatic. The statistics that you saw are the basic stats, but they can be improved if you can find the right attachment. The muzzle mods are a flash hider, a suppressor for an automatic rifle and a condensator. You can also use an extended magazine, a quick draw magazine or an extended quick draw magazine, which is the best of both worlds. And you can attach 5 different sights, a holographic sight, a red dot sight, a 4x, 8x and a 15x scope. Just for info, an extended magazine allows you to carry 40 bullets per magazine instead of 30. Let's meet our second weapon, the M416. The Heckler & Koch HK416 is an assault rifle designed and manufactured by Heckler & Koch. It is based on the AR-15 class of weapons and was originally conceived as an improvement based on the Colt M4 carbine family issued to the US military. Germans do things properly in battlegrounds, so let's take a look at the stats. The M416 has a power rating of 37. If you compare that with the AKM, then we can clearly see that the AKM wins in this department with a power rating of 42. The range is a similar story. The M416 loses this round again with 57 versus 60, but it's close. The difference is very small and almost negligible. We can see the same pattern when we look at stability. 32 versus 34. Again, a very small difference in favor of the AKM. And here comes the firing rate. The one statistic that changes everything for the M416, 77 compared to only 61 for the AKM. That is a massive difference, 26% to be precise. This difference is so big that the M416 can deal more damage per second than the AKM. The M416 uses the 5.56mm cartridge. This type of ammunition is compatible with the M16A4, the SCAR-L and the M249 light machine gun. The M416 has a 30 round magazine and like all primary weapons in Battlegrounds it has a standard capacity of 500. It can also fire single shots or fully automatic. The muzzle mods are the same as with the AKM with the flash hider, the suppressor and the compensator. The magazines and the sights are also exactly the same, but the M416 can also attach a vertical foregrip or an angled foregrip and on top of that you can also attach a tactical stock. You will need two headshots to kill and that is valid for both of these guns, it doesn't matter which kind of helmet your enemy is using. If you happen to run into a guy who has the highest level of body armor then you will need four body shots to kill that guy. The AKM has one big advantage over the M416 when you run into a level 2 body armor guy, because the M416 will need 4 body shots to kill him, but the AKM can kill that same guy quicker because it only needs 3. 
That is also the same amount of bullets that both of these guns need to finish off a guy with silver body armor or with level 1 body armor. As you can see the bullet pattern is slightly tighter for the AKM. It has a snake like pattern while the M416 has a less linear pattern before it pulls up and to the left. Just for info, this is uncompensated fully automatic fire. I just pressed my mouse button and that's it. I did not move my mouse to compensate for the recoil and as a result they both had 7 shots on target but the AKM came very close to having 8 shots on target. The top right bullet came very close to hitting him and in real life it would have destroyed that guy's left ear. To summarize, the AKM has better stats for power rating, range and stability but it loses big time when you look at the firing rate. The result of this is that the M416 can deal more damage per second, but it will require an extra bullet if you're facing a guy with level 2 armor. Now that you know everything about these two guns, I'm sure that you will be able to select the right one for your playstyle and for that chicken dinner. While you're here, why not check out one of these videos. By the way guys, the YouTube likes and shares are very helpful to me. If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind taking a moment to like this video and to share it with all your buddies. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you in Battlegrounds.